Yo, what's happening? It's Mikey. If you are interested in making a podcast, I cannot recommend Spotify for Podcasters enough. Dude, it is so freaking easy. Seriously, Spotify for Podcasters lets you create and then distribute your podcast, and you can even earn money from it, man. And you don't need any fancy equipment. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can just start creating today. And you can do video podcasts, too, like I do. Just download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to Spotify.com slash podcasters to get started today. Countdown is running at 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The Mikey Podcast. Yo, and welcome to the very first Freeloader Friday of 2024. And holy shit, has it been a year already? Let me tell you. There's been some crazy things going on this past week since the year started, and we're going to get into all of it here uh, throughout today's show. If this is your first time here, this show is a wild ride through the news, true crime, real life stories, conspiracies, and so much more. It is the Mikey Podcast, and every Friday we do Freeloader Friday, which means we're live on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, X, and of course, MikeyPodcast.com, which is the best place to be. Um, and and we're this is the second or third time we've been live on Instagram, so hello, Instagram people. I'll try to uh, keep an eye on you guys over there and whatever talk to you as well but it's a little difficult to keep track of, of everything that's going on here all right let's see let's see we're oh by the way and if you don't if you're listening to this or whatever it'll eventually be up on all the podcast platforms as well the video version will be on spotify and mikeypodcast.com but audio everywhere else immediately after the show today's show will be fun or interesting or they're actually going to get a little heavy which is why i'm drinking today so cheers i'm having a little scotch a little glenn levitt the Glenn Levitt, the good stuff, because today we're going to talk about not only the Jeffrey Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell documents that dropped. Yes, I say Ghislaine because what the fuck? Who cares? I don't know what her name is. Is it Ghislaine? Is it Ghislaine? I don't give a shit. It's Ghislaine because all the weird shit they got going on. And if you haven't gone back and listened to past episodes of the Mikey podcast, I don't, I wish I could remember some of the crazy things that actually went on in the case. And I spent, was able to spend a little bit more time going through the documents that I'm going to talk to you about here today to tell you some of the weird shit that these people did. But if you go back and listen to past episodes of the show, especially if you're in the sub club, which you should be a part of the member of the sub club in order to get access to these episodes and listen to some of the stuff about, uh, about jizz and the weird shit that they were doing this weird sex stuff that they were doing, man, sex freaks, <laughs> but it's crazy stuff. So if you're, if you have access to the sub club, head over to MikeyPodcast.com or on Spotify. You can get all, all the past episodes. If you're not a member of the sub club, join now, MikeyPodcast.com. It's less than 10 cents a day. And you can support independent media and, and fuck corporate everything. And of course, you support your favorite podcaster. But I'm not just going to talk to you about Ghislaine and Jeffrey. Although that's going to be very interesting. I'm, we're going to go through all this. We're going to talk about some of the most prominent names that have been brought up and some of the most significant findings as well. If you guys want me to search anything, I'll do the same thing. I have, uh, I basically have all the documents up right here in front of me. And all I got to do is type in any word you want me to search for, and it'll pop up every single time it said that. So maybe we'll have some fun and we'll look into all that too. But there's one other thing I kind of want to get to. If you hang out on TikTok or X at all, um, you probably may have seen uh, some news about an alien or multiple aliens in Miami. Have you heard about this? Multiple, like it was like eight to 10 foot aliens. This is almost the same sort of aliens that were talked about in Las Vegas. Same type of aliens I've talked about on this show that were, I think it was Argentina or something. They were, they were spotted all last year. It was a couple different times they were spotted last year. Um and, and a few crazy people on airplanes actually had said something about weird alien lizard looking people. Uh, so we'll talk about that too. But first, there's a couple of things I want to get to about the show and what's happening with Mikey Podcast and everything like that. Uh, I do want to mention one more time, make sure you're subscribed over at MikeyPodcast.com. If not, that's my subscribe over on Spotify too. If you can't, if you don't want to support the show financially, go right ahead and just like the show, uh, subscribe on YouTube, uh, comment, five stars, all those things, all that stuff helps. It's it's a huge, it, it may seem insignificant, but let me tell you, it's actually pretty big. I'll get over here and look at all these comments here in a minute. I just want to get through all this. Um, I'm going to get through all this other the stuff that I do at the beginning of the show. Uh, I mentioned on Facebook, actually, I think I put it on, on Instagram too, 
that I was going to be doing something with some with some bands. So if you're a member of a band or you are in a band or you know a member of a band, and this is for local Sacramento bands, I'm starting a new show. It'll be related to the Mikey podcast, but it's going to be specific to music, local music, where we do, we hang out, they play a couple of songs live, we record it, we're in a recording studio, and uh, we do a little interview se uh, segment. And it's just to kind of give, give the local music, local music here in Sacramento is amazing. And I don't think it gets the love that it deserves. And it used to, there was some, there was a radio station used to give it some love and they don't anymore. And I feel like, you know, I, I have an opportunity here to try to present the this music to the world is it maybe i don't know maybe it'll help maybe it won't either way i feel like this is something that i want to do and it's something i want to do for the music community and because the music has done so much for me in my life i don't know i just want to give back i want to give back to the community of sacramento too and i think this would be a lot of fun so we're going to be kicking this thing off here hopefully in the next month i teamed up with a really dope recording studio in sacramento and i cannot wait to get this, I can't, I'm not going to give you guys the name of what this is going to be called. I'm not giving away too much stuff until we get everything locked in, but it is happening. Um, I've already got a crap load of bands lined up, but I haven't really made all of my decisions. So if you're in a band like, or you want to be in a band or, you know, a band member, whatever, uh, send them my way and let's get this thing done. It's going to be dope. I think it's going to be really, really cool. And, um, I'm excited to, to, to be a part of the local music community. I really want to help these guys out in, and, and, and do the best I can. I don't know. Again, I don't know if it'll help in any way, but I just feel like the mu the local community is kind of, the local music scene has kind of just lost its spark, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's just me because I'm not attached to radio anymore, and I feel like I just don't know what's going on, and I wanted to immerse myself in it. So this is what's happening. So just have these people reach out to me or just, you know, just keep following along. You'll be hearing more about this in the coming weeks. It's going to be awesome. Um, I mentioned before the end of the year that I was going to start doing some giveaways. So starting next Friday, every Friday during Mikey Podcast Live, the Freeloader Friday Lives, we'll be doing a giveaway at the end of every single show. So that'll be cool, too. And one last thing real quick. Make sure you're signed up for the newsletter. You can get, get that. It's free. MikeyPodcast.com. Just throw your email in there. I'm not going to spam you or anything like that. It's just a really good way for us to communicate, a really good way for me to get a hold of you and send you guys information about stuff that's going on with Mikey Podcast, this new show, and a whole bunch of other things that are going to be happening in the coming months. So sign up. And plus, it's a good way to support the show. All right. You guys ready to get this shit started? Let me, let me check out these comments here. And we get things going. Happy New Year to you. Are we supposed to keep saying Happy New Year? I feel like we're supposed to have stopped saying that by now. Everybody's keeps saying happy new year. Well, I guess we haven't, we haven't seen each other. So happy new year to you, Nick. Happy new year to you too, Kristen. Appreciate you guys. Uh, cheers, everybody. Happy, what's up, Christopher? Welcome to the show. Good to see you again, man. Appreciate you. Uh, Sandbagger 02. You, you call me Mick? Yo, good evening, Mick. <laughs> Mick? Who the fuck is Mick, Sandbagger? I'm just kidding. Yo, good evening. There it is. There it is. There he fixes. Good evening, Mikey. How you doing? Raven, what's up? How you doing? Welcome. Good to see you guys. Anyway, let's, uh, and everybody over on, uh, Radio, I don't even know how many people, it doesn't matter. What's up, everybody on Instagram? I'm not going to name every one of you fucking people out. That's too many. You guys want to talk about aliens for a second before we get into the Jeffrey Epstein stuff? Because I want to get this, I want to get this out of the way. This was, this has been one of the biggest things on TikTok all week. So on, I don't know if you heard me on, listen to the last episode. I talked about some crazy things that have happened so far in the year. We've had some earthquakes, we had fucking landslides. We had an earthquake in, in, in LA. We got those, those crazy apocalyptic waves that were smashing up under the coast. So that happened last weekend. So it really wasn't the new year, but that was fucking crazy. Then there was an earthquake in Washington, DC. Then there was supposedly an earthquake in New York city. These things happened on new year's day with fucking manholes blowing off. And people say buildings were shaking. And then the, the, the authorities come out and say it's a 1.7 earthquake caused the manholes to explode the fuck out of here ain't nobody believing that shit well lately there were rumors of other crazy stuff so in miami on monday apparently there was this huge massive police presence around a mall in the miami area and I'm, when i say massive i'm talking like fucking 75 to 100 police cars they had fucking helicopters flying around roads blocked off they shut the power off all kinds of crazy shit was going down and people are like what the hell's happening and there was no videos and and, and you know there's people everybody's got a phone nowadays so when shit's going down like that someone's busting their phone out to record it but they couldn't find any videos except for really weird grainy videos from either a helicopter or people in their um apartments kind of filming from high above the, what the hell was going on on the streets. So 
later on in the night, it comes out that there was some apparently a fight at this mall and all these cops showed up. And then maybe these kids were shooting off firecrackers or fireworks. And so they thought that there was a shooting and that's why there was such a large police presence. But this police presence was a little excessive. I don't think there's ever I don't think at any shooting we've ever had, there's been a, this massive of a police presence. So but I was like, you know, when I saw this on Monday or maybe it was Tuesday morning, I was like, ah, you know. It is another fucking shooting. It's terrible, it's tragic as fuck. You know what's going on here? I don't know. Anyway, and and then it just, and then it just went away. It was on the news anymore. It was gone. It's like oh, it's another fucking shooting. And the only thing I think of, and please don't get offended by this in any way or take this the wrong way, is that it maybe it was just in a bad part of town and it was a shooting. And because this is what happens all the time when there's you know when there's a shooting in like a really ritzy area, you hear about it for fucking days. Or if it's at a if it's at the Roseville Mall or whatever, you're gonna fucking hear about it for weeks. Oh my god, the tragedy. But if it's a shooting in a bad area, it's on the news for about five seconds and then it just goes away. I don't know why, but that it is what it is. So that's just what I assumed had happened. But that's not that's not what happened. Because later on, people start talking about fucking aliens. People said that there were reports of eight to 10 foot tall aliens walking around the mall in those supposed fireworks that people were hearing or whatever were actually gunshots of crazy motherfuckers shooting at aliens. First of all, that's exactly what would happen. If, let's be real here. You show up, say an alien shows up in fucking Texas. You think people are just going to stand around there and not shoot them? That's America. America will shoot. That's what we do. If we had a gun, if I saw a fucking alien, like I, yeah, you, I wouldn't even think that I'm going to start an interstellar war. I'd just be like, this motherfucker needs to go. And I probably would start shooting, but that's because we're stupid. And that's what we do. We don't think about, oh, this is going to, this is going to probably kill everybody. No, we just start shooting. But anyway, so that was what people were saying. People, oh, so my God, it was fucking eight to 10 foot tall aliens. Everybody was running. They were coming at people and then people started shooting at them. And then there was some idiot and I don't have his video, but some idiot got on Twitter or on uh, TikTok and was like, I was there. I saw the whole thing. There was an alien. It was this, it was that, it was this. That. And then the next day he posted another video and he was like, I was never there. I was just kidding. I just don't understand people who do shit like that. Like, do you have no fucking life? That you're a grown ass man that you want to get on the internet and pretend weird but anyway so the so this shit starts spreading all over tiktok and fucking x and it's everywhere people are like there's aliens in miami so 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 let's backtrack a little bit last year there were aliens in las vegas eight to ten foot tall aliens landed in somebody's backyard we heard about it for about a week or so then boom it was gone i don't even know if this, this family's gone like are they missing i don't even know what happened to these people and then maybe a couple of weeks later, we hear about some, some eight to 10 foot tall aliens in like Argentina or some crazy shit like that. And then a day or so later it comes out that it wasn't aliens. It was just gold miners or something. And they were trying to scare the villagers. So <laughs> these miners are walking around scaring villagers, it, like acting as if they're big and tall. They want to fucking like eat the villagers or like they were going to eat babies or something. I don't know. That's the story. I'm not just, I'm not making this shit up. I'm telling you this is what's going on. Um, and now there's this eight to 10 foot tall aliens in Miami. The same fucking day, there was an earthquake in New York City blowing off manhole covers. That's what's going on. Now, do you want to see the alien? I got to hear, I got to see a couple of yeses in the comments before I'll ever fucking show you. I have the video of the alien. And I think you're going to want to see this. I have it. Do you want to see it? No, that's fine. What all I need is one person. You know, I'm gonna take a drink here. You see, this proceeds this is some Scooby Doo shit, unicorn rainbows. All right, here we go. People want to see the aliens. Are you sure? <laughs> I think you might be a little disappointed. All right, fuck it. Let's see some aliens. All right, so I'll put this up on the screen. This is the only video of the alien that exists. Okay. And then we're going to talk about if it's actually an alien or not. Check this out. Oh, by the way, be, you're going to, I'll show you this whole thing. Check out the, I don't know if this video has got the entire uh, police presence that was there, but it's pretty massive. And I don't know if, hopefully you guys can hear the sound on this. I don't want it to be too loud because it'll be obnoxious, but here we go. Let's put it up here. So it's right there. Now, if you look by the building, I, I can't. If you look up by the building here, these three, there's three lines on that building. If you look down right in the middle, there is what people are saying. 
is a eight to 10 foot tall alien walking. And these police cars are like pointed right at it. And they're just like looking at this fucking alien. Like, holy shit, that's a fucking alien. Let's watch. It's walking by. Oh, you can't see it now. Where'd it go? Let's get, let's see if we can get another better shot of this thing. You got to look closely. Okay. Pay attention. It's moving. Do you see it? Did you see the alien? No, that's because you're not paying attention. Watch again. It's there. What is that thing? That, Robert, pay attention. <laughs> he said he didn't see the fucking alien. Look, Raven saw it. Walking to the right. There you go. Yeah, so there you go. It's right there. That's the alien, ladies and gentlemen. That is what everybody was freaking out about. Apparently, there's more than just one of them, according to reports that was walking around the mall and people, idiots, were starting to shoot at this thing. Now, is it really an alien? Is it? Let's go over what the news has to say. Rumors are a video clip of an alien, eight foot, ten foot tall alien was walking around the mall over in fucking Miami. Caused a huge, gigantic police presence. All... People were going crazy. Social media was buzzing with this particular low quality video that I just showed you. This one right here. This is the worst video, one of the worst videos I've ever seen in my entire life. Of an alien, but it's something. Well, social media is a, a big buzz about this whole fucking about this alien going on right here. Uh, and then and then the cops were like, No, that's not an alien. That's not at all what it what it is. It's, I told, we told you what it was. Somebody first then said it was, the cops said, well, no, there was no aliens, but he just arrested a bunch of kids because they were fighting. So four kids, by the way, ended up did, ended up getting arrested that night for the fight. So maybe there was no alien shooting at anybody, or maybe there was no people shooting at aliens because there was no fucking aliens, um, at least according to the cops. And then the cops said, no, that's not an alien walker. That's somebody's shadow. Let's, let's look at the shadow again, just to be safe. Cause maybe it is a shadow. Let's see. I don't think that that's a shadow. As a matter of fact, I see that thing's shadow. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, your favorite podcaster here found the uh, found a clearer video for you. Is it an alien? Probably not. Is it three people walking in bl blurred video makes it look like an alien? Probably. Let's see. Do you see that? Do you see three people right there walking? The weird thing is, it's like one of these videos is one way, and then the, then it's like spun around the other way, so it's going the other way. But look, there's no aliens. That is that is literally three people. Like, I could see it. That's three fucking people walking right there. Ain't no goddamn aliens. Let me tell you, though, if I have to be honest with you, if there was aliens, I'd be the first one to bring it to you. I'm all about aliens. Like, I'm Let's let's bring on the motherfucking aliens. But unfortunately, this video, the one that is going around, this one right here, this video right here, that that is all over TikTok and it's all over X. It's, people are like, oh my god, it's aliens! It's some crazy lady had like fucking fifty thousand people re sharing her stuff because she said that that was an alien. It's not a fucking alien. It's three goddamn people walking that you can clearly see in this much better video. Let me give it to you one more time so you can just. Get a real good look at this, and then we can put this thing to bed. Especially if you're if you're if you're one of those people that's like on TikTok or on X, and you and you saw this. I saw it so many times. It came up on so many videos, and then then it was like it was on TMZ, and it was on ABC, and then it was on NBC, and then I was like, whoa, wait a second, maybe it really is an alien because now all these mainstream medias are coming out saying it's not. Here's my guy, shitty radio jock over on Instagram says conspiracy theorists will still find a way to say it's an alien. I know. And here I am. I'm going to try to tell you, maybe it is an alien. Maybe that's a doctored video. And maybe since all the mainstream media came out and said that it's not an alien, maybe it's a distraction or maybe it's just three fucking people walking. Let's be realistic here. Come on. It's not an alien. I don't know. I don't know if there was aliens in Las Vegas. I don't know if there was aliens in Argentina, but I do know that that fucking video all over TikTok is not an alien.
So can we just end that? Can we, can, can everybody, can we, can this stop being shared? Can, can this go away? I would love for that to go away. I'll just stop talking about it and make it go away. <laughs> I just, it's, I, I want there to be aliens. I really do. And I want, and I believe that there probably is because I don't want to think that, you know, it's weird to think that we're probably the only intelligent life and in, in not even that intelligent, but life in, in the entire universe. Like that's, it's awfully, you know, that's, I don't, I just have a hard time wrapping my head around that. Um, and plus with all the stuff that has come out over the past year with that, that it was a David Grush, that guy, he's been going around telling, you know, he's worked for the CIA and all this shit. He's going around telling everybody that there's actually aliens and we got a spaceship and we have alien bodies and stuff. I don't know. Is that stuff real? I, I it's who the fuck knows, but it's fun to think about. And it's definitely, a, definitely distracted a lot of people from other things that are way more important. Like the Jeffrey Epstein documents. <laughs> it was a little bit more important to, to me than fake aliens on TikTok. So, so I do think it, shitty radio jack again. I do think there are other life forms and other galaxies. However, this ain't it. I am with you on that one. Shitty. I uh, definitely, I don't, do I believe in Bigfoot? Is that what you're asking me over there, Fowler? I maybe, why not? Have you ever heard of the Nephilim? Just throw that out there. Read the Bible. Okay. Let's talk about, I mean, and, and that's what, by the way, I said Nephilim, but I just throw that out there really fast as if like I should, I probably should try to explain it, but I'm not going to, um, but that's what some people are saying. These gigantic aliens that everyone is seeing for the past year are that they're just the Nephilim, that it's the, it's the giants that humans lived with in biblical times and that they're still around. They've always been around and they've lived underground or whatever. And now they're starting to come up. Hey, that's the rumor. <laughs> Do I believe this shit? No, but I'm just telling you, this is the crazy stuff that I see on the internet. Like Mikey, you need to get a fucking job, dude. You spend way too much time online. Did I see what Megan Kelly said about Epstein yesterday? Yeah, shitty. Actually, I did see this. And you guys, by the way, if, if you didn't catch it, this guy's name's on, on Instagram. He's shitty radio jock. You should follow him. He's fucking hilarious. Um, he, Megan Kelly said that we're going to be hearing a lot more about Jeffrey Epstein or from Jeffrey Epstein in the, in the next year. And that we may even be hearing from Jeffrey Epstein himself. What the fuck is that about? And then she was like, this got all cryptic. And she's like, I'm only going to say, you know, I can only tell you so much or whatever, as if she's, oh, she's only allowed to say certain things. Well, first of all, who's giving Megyn Kelly information? Like get the fuck out of here. But who knows, man, I'm excited to see what happens in 2024. I told you, I said this the other day, I've been saying it for a couple of years. 2024 is going to be a crazy year. And I feel like it's already started off really crazy earthquakes and manhole covers and fucking explosions and aliens and Jeffrey Epstein documents, which I think I want to talk about right now. First things first, though, let's talk about the documents themselves real quick. Uh, wait, so, wait, so I'm sorry. Now I'm getting distracted. Somebody said there's Nephilim. There's Nephilim that live outside of Reno. The redheaded giants. Like, I don't know if I just said, what does that mean? Is that real? Or are you just trying to get me to say things that are going to offend redheads? I don't know. Tucker Carlson, what did he say? Tucker Carlson has been on that lately. What? The Nephilim thing? I don't know. Mikey, have you deciphered the documents and got a complete list of pedos yet? All right. So let's just get into this thing. Listen. All right. So like I said, let's talk about the documents real quick. It, by the way, shitty it was a damn good tease. Like I'm over here. Like, I just can't wait. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. I want to know more. Megan Kelly's got information. So first things first about these documents, the first batch of documents was released on January 3rd. There was two batches by the way. And then a second batch the very next day, these documents are not a list of Jeffrey Epstein's clients, if you will, it's, a, it's, it's court documents. So there's no list put together. I know there's people like, Oh, we're going to get a list. We're going to get, and I may have even said that. I don't know, but there, there is no list. It literally is just court documents. And there's a whole lot of information in these court documents. <laughs> Sorry. See, I'm over here. I'm looking at these Instagram comments, and that's a great question. Shitty Radio Jock wants to know which radio CEO, I'm going to say probably David Field, allegedly, probably just making it up out of my ass. I don't want to get sued by this asshole. It's probably not real. I'm just saying probably if, if, if there was any radio CEO that ended up on Jeffrey Epstein's island, it was definitely probably not that I know for sure, but I would say, yeah, David Field of Odyssey. Just get thrown out there. I'm just saying. I mean, they are going to file for bankruptcy in a couple of weeks. That's the latest news from Odyssey. I don't like to spend a whole lot of time on them anymore because fuck those people, man. I got to move on. It's definitely David Field, though. All right. So, yeah, Pr Prince Andrew, 
Prince Andrew was definitely in this shit. All right. So again, back to these documents, the, the documents again, aren't a list. It is court documents of uh, just literally what the fucking court reporter wrote down. And there's a whole lot of emails and a whole lot of other things, but there's no real list that these things are court filings and deposition transcripts and myriad materials just related to the case. Now let's get to some of the good stuff that I was able to find. Just remember, yeah, I am one person. I have unfortunately a full-time job because you idiots freeloaders don't want to fucking subscribe. It is what it is, but whatever. Someday I won't have to have a full-time job and I can do this full-time. We'll get there. We're on our way. We're on our way. But I wanted to just, uh, so here's what I was able to get together in the past few days. Uh, we just with my own research and, and not ignoring my family completely. So Prince Andrew was named in these documents quite a few times. Uh, Prince Andrew was also, he's previously been accused of misconduct involving a minor. He's denied the allegations, but these documents almost kind of prove it. But he's not in jail, so maybe they didn't prove it enough. Now, Bill Clinton, he for sure was mentioned in these documents many times, like 27 times, or maybe it was like, I don't know, 50 fucking times. And then he also went to the island a whole bunch of times, too. He's He said he's, it's been known that he's had a relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. He's he, he actually said that, but he also denied any knowledge of Epstein's criminal activities. But as I've said in past episodes, these fucking idiots Say they say they oh I didn't know he was a child molester oh really you didn't know he didn't know he was a pedophile and then and then he went then he got he got charged and and found guilty or actually I'm sorry he wasn't found guilty he got caught with some stuff and then the FBI came in and said that no one's going to charge Jeffrey Epstein with anything because we just don't do that and as, as a matter of fact that is even in this court case i wish let me see if i can i have i gotta like i have some of the files on my phone and some of the files are right here on the computer but this is one particular thing that i think is important to talk about real quick um before i go any further here let me see if i can find this it was basically the connection that that jeffrey epstein had to um intelligence agencies so in one particular document right here i don't have the number of this particular document the government is well aware of jane doe number three uh, when it was negotiating, blah, 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 Jane Doe number three's relationship with Epstein would have revealed the fact that he had, he had been, she had been sexually trafficked through the United States and internationally for sexual purposes. Nonetheless, the government secretly negotiated a non-prosecution agreement with Epstein, precluding any federal prosecution in the Southern District of Florida with any of Epstein's co-conspirators. So the government stepped in when this original case happened, not, not the one where he didn't hang him, didn't kill himself, but the one before that, which is, I think happened whenever it happened. My point of telling you all this is that whenever that happened, I forget the exact years, Bill Clinton was still hanging out with his asshole after that. So you definitely had knowledge of him. Okay. So to say that you didn't have any knowledge of his activities, everybody had knowledge of his activities and people who continue to hang out with him after the fact, why would you do that? Like if my good friend who was just a friend who I just happened to hang out on his Island, go have some drinks with whatever, I found out he was a child molester. It would, first of all, take a lot for me not to beat the fuck out of that guy. But I wouldn't. Maybe. I don't know. But I would never in my life talk to that piece of shit ever again. I would never be associated with that person. Like, as a matter of fact, there was a fucking person who who used to listen to that damn show when I was on the radio. This guy followed me and Stroke, and I believe he followed Ian, Ian and Lara. He used to comment on all of our things, and he would fucking call into the show. I think the guy was a was a was a ex military somebody and he was a current um security officer somewhere that guy got busted with having child pornography on his computer it was all over the news i just i was like i don't even know this fucking guy and i had to delete him off my facebook and stuff and like block him because i just didn't want to be associated with that shit so and that's somebody i don't even know so i'm telling you that these assholes knew when they found out and they stayed connected to him what does that say that just makes me question the whole goddamn thing and this like, i thought the well, I, I thought, I just don't understand that. It's it's insane to me. But then, uh, let's see, President Bill Clinton came up on his game. And then there was mentions of the Lolita Express, which I've talked about on the podcast a few times. That's the airplane. That's the nickname that was given to Jeffrey Epstein's private jet. People would fly in the Lolita Express, the fucking pedophile island, and do all kinds of weird shit, allegedly. I don't, so that's the thing. I have to continue to say allegedly because we're never going to get the actual information. You know, like, I don't think we're ever going to get the real stuff. 
we're only going to get alleged stuff. And are any of these people ever going to be held accountable? Probably not. But really, we should be asking is like, why are we not holding the FBI accountable? Why are we not? Why aren't we looking even further to find out the people that were protecting Jeffrey Epstein and who he was working for? He wasn't just doing this and just hooking, hooking up elites with children for no reason. No. And the other thing is something to keep in mind is that I believe the FBI got something like 15. What is it like 15,000 tapes, basically DVDs and shit that they recorded from his residences that were recorded from his residences of allegedly people doing weird shit. So these tapes or these videos that they had, this this stuff was being used to blackmail these people. And the FBI is has this stuff right now. This came out in, in I believe this is actually in the documents as well, but I remember talking about this uh, a couple of years ago during the Jane, Ghislaine Maxwell stuff. So where, why are we not going after the people that were sleeping that we actually have the evidence of, of people hooking up with minors? I don't understand. The people that was flying around on his jet. You guys remember that that list that came out? Let me see if I can share this with you real quick. And I, I don't know that this is a real list, so let's not let's let's not act like let's. I don't want to pretend like it's a real list. So I don't want people to go. Oh, I'm fucking sharing fake stuff. No, no, no. I just want to show you this. Um, let's see, because I talked about it the other day. Let's see if I can get it up here on the thing. This particular list right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a lot of names here. Um, I'll show you what I, I'll look at it and see. We got, you know, just like an Al Gore, Alan Dershowitz. He's on this particular list. He's also mentioned in the Jeffrey Epstein files. Now, I had said the other day that I was going to find the old list that has, was going around. This is from 12. I'm sorry, that says 2023. But this is this is this came out whenever the OG, the original Jeffrey Epstein stuff was going down. So a couple of years ago, people said that these this was the flight the list. All these people were on his flights. This is the flight log list. So this, if this is the list people are looking for, I can't confirm that this is real. I don't know that this came from any documents. All I know is this has been around for a little while, and I wanted to refine this list and then go through the stuff that had come out the past couple of days and see if any of this stuff aligned. You know, see if any of these same names were mentioned in these court documents that are on this particular list. One of them right off the top right there, Alan Dershowitz. He's on the list. He's also in the, the documents here. Al Gore, he's on the list. He's also in the documents. Bill Clinton on the list, also in the documents. Um, one person who's on the list that isn't in the documents and that I got caught up in in a second, I was kind of hoping that he would be, is Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> he's on this particular list that we're looking at, but he's not in the documents. I think the whole Jimmy Kimmel and Aaron Aaron Rodgers or whatever his name is thing is fucking hilarious. Uh, so I was kind of hoping that he's out there. I'm, I, I don't know. I, I don't like Jimmy Kimmel because I think he's he sucks. So if he was on the list, I would have been like, oh, good for Aaron. <laughs> Plus, Jimmy something. I'm going to sue him. All this shit Jimmy Kimmel talked about fucking Clinton in like or not Clinton, uh, Donald Trump, like literally horrible, horrible things he said about him on his show. Yeah, sure. Freedom of speech. I don't have a problem with it. You say whatever you want to, but you can't get mad at somebody else for saying shit about you, you gotta, if you're gonna dish it out, you gotta be able to take it, Jimmy. So, all right. So the, during, in these documents, there was allegations of sophisticated trafficking operations involving many people over several decades. This operation in allegedly involved sexual abuse of hundreds and hundreds of young women, a majority of them underage. And then came the latest, another batch of documents. So that was just some of the stuff from the first batch. And then I'll bring up the documents if you want to, and we can start searching for some things if you want and see what comes up or not. We could just walk around and talk shit. I don't care. Uh, the latest batch of documents had some, <laughs> some really interesting stuff. Stephen Hawking, by the way, came up in some of these documents. And it was mentioned that Stephen Hawking, <laughs> I am having a real hard time with this one because there's been a lot of, a lot of uh, memes that are going around that I think are fucking hilarious, by the way. But I'm just, the Stephen Hawking thing is crazy. First of all, it is said that Stephen Hawking is a fan of midget porn. Why is it hard about midget porn? Why is Stephen Hawking hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein? I, I don't get that. But it gets even worse because in the documents, there was alleged email from Epstein to Ghislaine Jizz, by the way, we're going to call, keep calling her Jizz forever. That's her name. Don't care if it's not really her name. I'm not asking anybody. Ghislaine Maxwell to find anyone who could help deny Stephen Hawking's involvement 
in an underage orgy. It's in the documents. It's in the court. It's in the court case. Now, I mean, it was like, what the fuck's good is this going to do? Well, first of all, what the fuck? How? What's he doing? How is Stephen Hawking doing anything? What do you do? He's typing, uh, uh, yeah, baby. Yeah, I, I don't get it. The guy can't even. I would just be so sexually frustrated if I was him. What, just going to watch? What, was it a midget orgy? Why well, is it an underage orgy? It's even worse. It's way worse. But he's, he's dead, right? Fuck. I'm just saying, like, what? How the fuck is Stephen Hawking having an, having an orgy? You know? Whatever. That's in the documents, my friends. And then there was this. And this is, uh, and this is probably to me one of the most explosive things in the documents and involves Bill Clinton. Uh, it, it, one of the new documents from yesterday that came out Clinton allegedly stormed the Vanity Fair office and threatened them not to expose his, quote, good friend. Jeffrey Epstein. Expose him in what way? I'm unsure, but I know there's a lot more to that in the documents. But again, I didn't have a whole lot of time to, you know, it's been a couple of days, but it, it's just me. I can't sit here and go through all this. There's tons of pages here. But the revelation definitely raises some eyebrows and has caused a lot of discussion on social media. And a lot of different podcasters and talking heads like myself are like, what the fuck? What is this? What does this represent? What does this mean? You know, and what were you trying to keep Vanity Fair from exposing? That's the question I'd like to know. Um, now, again, it's important to remember these allegations are alleged. They're all just alleged. You know, we have to be a lot of this stuff has to be taken with a grain of salt. And a lot of this stuff is just lawyers asking really crazy questions to get whatever information they can out of these these uh, the witnesses. And some people are asking about a lot of the. um a lot of a lot of the redacted people that were still in there. Uh, so apparently, so here's what we're gonna get. I think up until January 22nd, there's two people who are still redacted in some of these documents who filed an appeal. And apparently, we have to wait until the 22nd to eat the, either their names are going to be included or they're not going to be included. And then there's a handful of who of females who were underage at the time. So their names are redacted. Now there's no just a black line through the through the document, but they're still in there. And uh and they're some of the ones that say some of the more, some of the sicker stuff. Uh, but some of the names that have come up in this document. Oh yeah, Christopher, you're right. He could just be a voyeur. But again, that's just what, but you can never, you can never satisfy. Does, can he be satisfied? Can, is it possible for Stephen Hawking to finish the job? <laughs> or was it possible that Stephen Hawking was able to finish the job? I'm just curious, because if not, I would be, again, I would be so, like, it would just, you're just, te you know, what are you, perpetually blue, blue balled. That would suck ass. I'm trying to look at some of these comments here. I appreciate all you guys right now. I really do. I really do. And anybody who's listening to this after the fact or whatever, man, you guys are awesome. Support this show. Join the sub club, MikeyPodcast.com if you can. Um, and don't forget, I do have another show, new, new podcast starting soon. I'll give you all the details on that in the coming weeks, but it will be dope. How is that Hunter Biden isn't on the list? That's a great question, Tiger Rebounds. Maybe it's Tigger Rebounds. I don't know. He probably was on the list. And, and it doesn't matter. He did, Hunter Biden didn't need Jeffrey Epstein to hook him up with underage girls. He was figuring that shit out himself. There's plenty of pictures on his laptop that supposedly came out, real or not, it's real, uh, that prove all that. He's smoking fucking crack and he's hooking up with hook. Get out of here. Have you guys seen these pictures? I talk about it all the time. I'm not. I don't even care. I think I deleted all of them because I don't want to look at that shit anymore. I've seen Hunter. I've seen more Hunter Biden's penis that I care to talk about. Let's move on. Some of the other names. It is real. I know it's real, Shell. I really do. I know that it's real. Yes, I did just mention quickly that I'm working on another podcast. It's not going to be anything. Mike, the Mikey podcast is not going anywhere. Mikey podcast is still growing. Eventually, the Mikey podcast will be five days a week, but I'm working on what's going to be a monthly musical podcast uh, involving bands and live performances and things. And we'll get into that, like I said, in the coming weeks. But I do want to go over some of the some of the more some of the bigger names that that were not on this list, but in these documents, ones that stood out to me the most. And we're just going to start from the top right here. We already know Bill Clinton. I talked about him, Prince Albert. Talked about him plenty, plenty, plenty of times. This guy's a fucking sicko. Donald Trump was mentioned 
in the documents. Donald Trump was mentioned in a way that almost kind of cleared him of anything. He that he was he was at, the, the, one of the witnesses was asked about Donald Trump. She said, "I've never seen him there. I've never met Donald Trump. The only reason I know anything about Donald Trump is because Jeffrey Epstein is a name dropper, and he was talking about Donald Trump. He likes you know, oh, I'm friends with Donald Trump. Sure you are. Whatever you say, buddy." Yeah, I know. There's pictures of him and Jeffrey Epstein together. Maybe they were friends. I don't know. But the, the story with Trump is, for those of you that don't know real quick, is that, yeah, Donald, Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein, they, they were associates at one point, not workers or anything like that. They had a relationship of some type. I don't know what it was. But it had turned out that um, Jeffrey had, I think, hit on a underage girl at Mar-a-Lago or something along those lines. It happened to be one of the worker's daughters. And then Trump had him banned from Mar-a-Lago and then never talked to him again. That's the, that's what they say. I don't know if that's true, but that's supposedly the story. So, but he ended up on the list and the girl had sort of cleared his name from anything. Hillary Clinton, of course, was, was, I keep saying list was it mentioned in the documents, but of course she would. Barack Obama was as well. David Copperfield of all people. Uh, one of the witnesses underage at the time had mentioned that she was asked to give David Copperfield a massage. She didn't say if she slept with him. I don't think they, I'm not sure if they asked the question or maybe she said no, but she said she gave him a massage and that was kind of really all it. And he like did some magic tricks at dinner. Look, I'm gonna tell you if David Copperfield is at my house and if he doesn't do any fucking magic, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be pissed. So David Copperfield was there. You know what, Robert, you're absolutely right. Most, he says all magicians are creepy. You, you're right, man. They they really are kind of weird. Speaking of coming, <laughs> shut up. You guys are hilarious. Uh, is this, is your other podcast going to be free? Just kind of get, trying to get caught up on some of this. Yes, it will be. I promise you. It'll all be free. It'll be video as well. And it'll be totally free. Um, and then there'll be some opportunities to actually be a part of that podcast. Uh, let's get into some of these other names. Alan Dershowitz, I mentioned that. Leonardo DiCaprio. Was also mentioned, but he was mentioned in a way sort of like how Donald Trump was. He was never that he was never seen on the island, but there are supposed pictures of him being there. Uh, and that this particular witness had never met him, and she only had heard Jeffrey Epstein was on a phone with him one time and he got off the phone and said, Yeah, that was Leonardo Leonardo DiCaprio. Again, name dropper. Al Gore was on the uh <laughs> is on is mentioned in one way or the other. Stephen Hawking, as I already mentioned, already talked about. Michael Jackson was mentioned. Uh, Kevin Spacey. Ooh, I found some weird shit out about Kevin Spacey, too, and I didn't get to do a whole lot of research, but I wanted to just kind of touch on this real quick and maybe, and I shouldn't say things like that because it sounds weird. I'm in the, talking about this in this context, but here, uh, Kevin Spacey, There's there's apparently been four different people. Uh, Aria, Ben, Linda Culkin, John Doe, and then a, a case that was suddenly dropped in 2019, four different people who had accused Re uh, Ke Kevin Spacey of misconduct of some sort. And all four of them, let's see, this one dead after getting hit by a car. This one, Kevin Spacey was a groping case because the accuser died. That's the second one. Massage therapist suing Kevin Spacey uh, for sexual assault dies ahead of the trial. And then Kevin Spacey accuser killed himself. So he's basically Hillary Clinton. Um, and then we got, let's see, Na Naomi Campbell. She was supposedly on the plane multiple times. This was, she's also on the other list that came out years ago, by the way. So was Kevin Spacey. George Lucas is on both, both lists. Uh, Bruce Willis. Let me see if he's on this one. He's on, he's, he was mentioned in the, he's on both lists. He's mentioned in the documents and on the flight logs. Uh, Bill Richardson, former governor of New Mexico, it's not looking good for that guy. If what is said about him is true, he had was sleeping with some, he had sex with a minor. Um, allegedly, like I said, that's, that's alleged. I don't know if that's true, but that's allegedly, I'm not, that's what's in the documents. I'm just telling you. Uh, Cameron Diaz, another person who was mentioned, but not in a way where she was on the island, just in, in a name dropper way. Chris Tucker. Now let's talk about Chris Tucker for a second. He's not, he's mentioned in the documents. He's mentioned on the flight logs. He was on the flight. This is a proven fact as you can search and find this. Him, Bill Clinton, Jeffrey Epstein, and I think someone else all went to Africa together. Why? First of all, what the fuck is Chris Tucker doing hanging out with the president at the time and Jeffrey Epstein? Why would these people want to be friends with Chris Tucker? Friday Smokey? Been smoking since I was two. It doesn't make any sense to me. But Chris, but Chris Tucker is apparently a baby eater and hangs out with other baby eaters, and that's what's going on there. 
Uh, so those were uh, in these particular documents, the the two drops that we got this week, I believe we have more coming. Um, those were some of the more prominent names that stuck out to me. Now, again, I have this thing right here where we could, let me see if I can share this with you guys. We could take a look and see what, um, see what we got. Let's see. Oh, uh, so I want to show you guys. It's right here. Share. Put it up on the screen. This. These are the documents. All of it. All the documents that came out this week. Round one and round two. I can scroll through these or not. I can type in whatever you want me to right up here in a little search bar. Let's just for the fuck of it. Let's just type in Clinton and see. C-L-I-N-T-O-N. Clinton. Oh, look at that. All these things. Bill Clinton. Let's, uh, let's, were you ever in a helicopter with Bill Clinton, Secret Service, and Gis Ghislaine Maxwell? Answer is no. Look at that. Uh, let's see. Do you recall seeing President, or do you, do you recall seeing a press article in which Sharon Churcher, whoever that person is, reported that you were on a helicopter with Bill Clinton and Ghislaine Maxwell on the pilot? Again, I'll let you in. So these are like, it's, this is court documents. So it's a whole lot going on here. It's more about the helicopter and Bill Clinton. His name just shown. So a lot of this time it's like there's a little there. Look, Bill Clinton, Stephen Hawking, Al Gore. In any individual eventually. Blah, blah, blah. Dershowitz, he's in this one too, right here. All documents concerning any income received by you from any media outlet in exchange for your statement. Who's this to? Who are they talking to? Oh, they're talking to Virginia, I think it's Virginia Guffrey, Goofrey, Goofrey, maybe that's how you say her name. She was like, she's the one that sort of broke this whole thing, Virginia. She's the one that kind of came out. I was like, this is what's going on. I was trafficked. I was used in this way and this, that this person was there. So she's the one that dropped most of these names. Alan Dershowitz. She's slept with Prince Andrew, supposedly slept with Bill Clinton and, and honestly, supposedly slept with, with Ghislaine as well. Like I'm telling, like I, when I tell you, when I said at the beginning of this episode, sex freaks, that these people are sex freaks. Like she, Ghislaine had, would, would just, they had dildos all over their house. Like they were just in the bathroom. Okay. She needed a dildo. Go grab one. They're in the bathroom, like a basket full of dildos. This is not a joke. I'm, I'm not making this up. And they, she would have these girls clean them. Like, oh yeah, they, there's a, there's, you know, six dirty dildos in my bedroom. Can you go clean those up? And then when you're done go downstairs and go give Bill Clinton a massage. By the way, they also said in these documents, massage is code. That was a code word. So, so, so here we go. Someone said a set of third paper, sandbagger right here, a set of third paper. So if you're coming out, not sure if it's true. Well, we'll find out. Man Bear Pig was on the island. Yes, he was. Al Gore was there. So, see Obama, what do you got? Obama was more interested in Chicago bathhouses. <laughs> Big Mike. People get mad when I say that big bike thing. I'm just joking around. I don't know, what, I don't know if that's real or not, but the shit is funny. So that's where we are right now with the Jeffrey Epstein stuff. There is, there's been a few kind of little bombshells that have been dropped, but also nothing too explosive, uh, all alleged. So it was Bill Clinton going to go to jail. No, I doubt it is. Prince Andrew going to go to jail? <laughs> he might actually. <laughs> Stephen Hawking would go to jail because he liked to, to, you know, do sick, gross things. But I don't know. I'm just telling you that that's what it is. That's where now I know there's a whole lot more to this. And there are other podcasters and people in the news who could do a much better job than me diving into this stuff because they got a team of people behind them finding all these things. I was listening to uh, a show well, two days ago when, when the first thing dropped and it was like seven people online and one guy was hosting it and then he had all these people kind of diving in and digging for these things. I wish I could do something like that right now, but I can't. It's just me. So that's what I got for you. I hope that it helped a little bit. That's where we are. I think this is probably the most we're going to get out of this. And maybe I'll spend a little bit more time in these particular documents over the weekend, but more stuff is going to come out over the months and over the year, actually. And according to uh, Megan Kelly, we're getting a whole lot more stuff from Jeffrey Epstein. And on top of that, we're probably going to get, supposedly, according to her, we might even hear from Jeffrey Epstein himself. So I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean, but I'm definitely interested. She got me, that's for sure. So I'll keep you guys updated on that if you're not if you're not following her. Uh, here's a great question. I'm going to put this up here. Maybe somebody can answer it. How would it be to hear Stephen Hawking's talk dirty? Oh my God. 
You are so hot. Look me in the eye. Shut up, bitch. Call me daddy. And by the way, anybody who likes to be called daddy, what the hell's wrong with you? That's disgusting. You fucking weirdos. Yeah. Now, I don't usually judge anybody on any other sex stuff. People like weird things. It's fine. It's as long as you're not touching children or being, you know, putting your weird stuff anywhere near me. Do what do whatever you want to do. Keep it in the bedroom. But the moment <laughs> that you want to do things with kids or have somebody call you daddy, I got a problem with it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Daddy? Get out of here. No daddy talk ever. But, you know, he could be, that's how Stephen Hawking would be, like a robot voice. It's good thing. Uh, 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 yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe I've seen interview footage is what Megyn Kelly means. Ooh, that's, hey, there you go. That's smart. Look at this. I, think I had a couple of smart viewers here. It's, that, that's a great, valid, very valid point. No mommy talk either. That's good. You know, nobody wants that. That's fucking gross. Oh, my mouth, my mouth just froze up. Everything's frozen. So if you can hear me, great. If you can't, I don't know. Now everything's back to normal. Yeah, there, there's Lara right there. No mommy talk. No, no, nobody wants to be, nobody wants to be called daddy. Nobody wants to be called. I don't think women want to be called mommy, but I don't want to call a woman a mommy because that's fucking weird to me. Yeah, I like the MILF porn, but it's not because of the mom thing. It's just because the wit, the chicks are the hottest. That's just me. All right, y'all. So that's what we got with the Jeffrey Epstein stuff. If you were just tuning in and you missed some of it, you can go back and watch this episode, mikeypodcast.com. Spotify, it'll be up there. You can listen to it on every podcast platform shortly after I'm done here. Um, also, quickly, just a real quick roundup of what else is going on that's not really going on. There are no fucking aliens in Miami. We just proved it. I showed you the video of the supposed aliens, and then I showed you the video of the three people that were walking that were that people thought were aliens. So there's no aliens in Miami, at least not right now. Or maybe there is. And I don't know about it. Well, there's probably a bunch of illegal aliens in Miami, I would imagine. But no space aliens or Nephilim as of right now. But have a great weekend, everybody. You too, Chris. Have a great weekend, man. Appreciate you guys. I appreciate, appreciate you guys tuning in and hanging out with me. And be safe out there. I'm going to get out of here and figure. I think I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to do something. But remember New podcast coming starting in a couple of weeks. This is going to be a music-based podcast. It, it will be entirely free if you are in a band or you know people in a band that might want to be involved in this. Hit me up. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be an actual studio, not in my little studio here. It'll be in a re really nice, beautiful recording studio. And, uh, and it's not going to cost you anything. It's going to cost you your time and a, you playing a couple of songs and us hearing your story. So, so just, you know, that's coming soon. Coming in the next couple of weeks. I can't wait to, to get that. Also, again, starting next Friday, more give or giveaways on the podcast. And hopefully in February, we will start inviting people onto the show. More stuff will happen. See, now you, you tuned in too late. You're asking about aliens. There are no aliens in Miami. There you go. That's the answer to every everybody who's asking about aliens all of a sudden. You're showing up too late. Anyway, guys, have a great day, everybody. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there. And I will talk to you on Monday. See ya. The Mikey Podcast. Oh, is it going to play? Play. <sighs> the Mikey Podcast. My damn show clothes won't play. And here I am. I'm just, I'm like, all right, see ya. Try it again. I just won't fucking do it. <sighs> will my intro play? That'll, that will play, but this won't. The Mikey Podcast. It played. What the fuck? <laughs> You guys have a great weekend. See ya. The Mikey Podcast.